How well does your injection technique with stem cells work on sciatica? So sciatica is a condition in which the nerve is getting pinched, usually by a bulging disc or a narrowed canal where the nerve comes out of the spine. Uh, so that condition is very treatable. I mean, typically the way that's treated now is either with physical therapy or some anti-inflammatory drugs. If that doesn't work, then they get cortisone injection. And, and Randy, there are a lot of problems with, with cortisone injections. They can be helpful, but they also are powerful at degenerating tissue. So what we do, instead of using cortisone, we'll use typically around nerves, um, somebody's growth factors from their, from their platelets. So platelets are responsible for, um, they're the first responders to a site of an injury. They form a clot and then they open up and spill out these things called growth factors. And growth factors are the signals that are needed to bring the resources over to repair tissue. And they will repair tissue and decrease inflammation better than uh, cortisone will and last longer. You actually get a better effect from that. We have some uh, comparison. So by drawing their own blood, correct, spinning we, their blood, correct. getting the growth factors, and then injecting it into... Injecting it around the nerve. And then usually there's, there's some looseness in the, in, the, in the ligaments of the spine. We want to get those tight. We'll use platelets, uh, sometimes stem cells, depending on what the condition is. Uh, and often that's also coupled with arthritic joints. And so we're going to be treating the region. Uh, usually it's a, it's a regional problem, not just a specific one spot problem. Can it last like six or seven, eight months? Like the pain relief? Uh, yeah, at least. Uh, it could be much longer than that as well. So it's much better than, is that, are we talking about PRP on this particular? So PRP, uh, there's something we have that's called platelet lysate. That's kind of the, lysate means rupture open. So we rupture open the platelets and we can pull just the growth factors out and get rid of the outer covering. That we call platelet lysate. So it's a form of PRP. Those growth factors are what we use around nerves because they're gentler. We don't want to create a large inflammatory response around nerves. So that's what we use for these kind of procedures. So those, have, those are called epidurals. And so we're doing epidural procedures using these growth factors instead of cortisone. So do you have story after story after story of people that had sciatica and now they don't have sciatica? All the time, absolutely. People that said, but Randy, I've gone to this doctor and that doctor. So if they haven't tried this, uh, the shot. I think it's absolutely worth um, worth a try. Because here in Orange County, I, I had them on the show with sciatica. They're basically doing surgeries for this. Yeah, so they're either removing a portion of the disc or maybe yeah, they're doing yeah. maybe doing a fusion. Uh, to we take pressure off that nerve. I mean, we, this is a very, very viable strategy to prevent that surgical procedure.